Hey everyone, this is Everett. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit text in your templates, particularly your Mogurt file templates. And you might be running into an issue in Premiere Pro where you're not able to edit the text or you might have unresolvable fonts. So I'm going to show you how to uh, change that out. And you're going to need After Effects to be able to do this, but uh, if you have the whole Creative Cloud suite, then you'll be fine with Premiere Pro and After Effects. So let's say you are working inside of Premiere Pro and you have a suite template here that you want we're going to load up this motion graphics template and first thing you're going to notice is that uh, it says resolve fonts unresolvable uh, this we don't have this font download on our computer so it's going to be substituted with our default font you might be wondering well what's my default font uh, fun fact you can't change your default font that's not a feature available yet so really what you have to do is you have to edit this template file in after effects so you could change uh, this text to anything you'd like so we're gonna press OK here as you can see from this uh, template that it's not gonna be the font that you wanted right here so you can see this is some uh, serif font and it's not even the one that's displayed here as the preview because we don't have that original font so from here um, you know saying okay well let's edit this in the essential graphics and we're gonna click on our template but all we can change here is our color and our words let's go like that so we could change that but we don't have any real option to go and change anything else so what we actually need to do is hop over into after effects and we're going to open up that mogurt file that you're using in after effects then it's going to ask you where do you want to save that and we're going to save it inside of the same folder so this just needs to run a quick conversion because whoever made the template was working on Mac. Press OK. It's going to give us the same unresolvable uh, font error. And we're going to press OK. Here in our project bin, you'll see this is where the person, uh, how they made the composition. So we're going to go ahead and click, double click on that. And here you can see that we have our default font, um, whatever is being used here. And we could go ahead and change this template. So the way we're going to do this is you select on your text layer here and now select whatever font you would like so we're gonna go with adventure pretty sweet font and maybe we want to change uh, this one to something else let's change it to that two words now from here uh, you're gonna to want to go over to your essential graphics tab you'll see the same options you had in Premiere Pro and if you'd like you can actually go in here and edit properties it'll bring up this thing and you can actually enable font selection, enable font size adjustment. You can pick an, or Fox styles. Um, you press OK. And so now when you go in there in Premiere Pro, it'll actually give you these options to do this. So let's on the bottom right here, click export. We're going to click export motion graphics template. We're going to save this real quick. And we're going to save this into our file here. And this will be the edited version. Press OK. This is all all right. Now we're going to pop back open Premiere Pro. We're going to delete these. Reset that. Pull it up. Import your title. And as you can see now, we're going to keep our sequence settings. You have your edited font and if we click in here and do edit you can actually go ahead and pick whatever font you want now for either of these and you can adjust the size of it now if you do too much it might end up affecting how it performs and how it looks but now you have the option to do that so have fun changing your your fonts when you have the unresolvable unresolvable font error take care everybody